Hello, my name is Robin Mitchell and welcome to this episode for EFM Electronics for Makers. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the brand new Sharpie range of PLC controllers by Mitchell Electronics. So before we jump into the sharp bite range of PLCs, the first thing we need to understand is what is a PLC in the first place? And PLC stands for Programmable Logic Controller, and they are heavily used in the industry. They are almost entirely programmed in a special language called Ladder Logic, and often incorporate input and output drivers to interact with hardware. Now, when it comes to using PLCs, they are often restricted to the industrial environment, and there are a few reasons for this. The first one is that they are very expensive and that makes them impractical when trying to teach a large class of students or use them in your standard hobby project. PLCs can also be complex to work with. Some of them require dedicated programmers that can be complex to set up, while others may require some kind of network connection, which makes them difficult to communicate to. And a third main problem with these PLCs is that often they have some kind of licensing restrictions. So while you might physically purchase the PLC itself, you'll need to pay for the software or get a special license for the software so you can use it in a commercial or industrial application. Now, while PLCs are designed to be industrial controllers, they can be used in effectively any environment that you want that has some kind of control process. That could be an automated greenhouse, so you have some switches coming in, some sensors going uh, in, and as well as some motors going out to control windows or control water pumps. They could be used in automatic door systems, which count the number of people coming in, and they could also be used in things like robot controllers. So you may have some motors, some sensors coming in, you want to control those. You could do that in a ladder logic program. But as we said before, your standard PLC is not really appropriate for this sort of project because they're expensive and they have licensing issues. This is where the Mitch Electronics Sharp Byte range of controllers comes in. So as we can see here, we have the four main products of the line. We have the Sharp Byte Nano, the Sharp Byte Core 1, we have the Sharp Byte PLC Micro and the Sharp Byte PLC 1. So why do we have four different products and what can they do? Now the first product in this line is the Sharp Byte PLC Nano. Now this is a very small PLC. As you can see, it has a USB controller and it has the main chip on board. It has four input switches, four output LEDs. It has an onboard buzzer, an analog input via a potentiometer and a reset switch. Now the advantage of this board is that A, it's very, very cheap and B, there is no need for input or output devices. So external relays or some kind of sensor, all of it can be simulated using the buttons and the output LEDs. And this makes for a very good prototyping device as well as a DIY kit for students who want to learn about ladder logic as well as being able to afford one to do it at home. Now the next product in the line is the Sharpbyte Core 1. Now this is very similar to the Sharpbyte PLC1 with a difference that it's more like an Arduino. So it hasn't got output relays and input opto isolators and all that stuff. What it does do instead is it takes all those inputs and outputs and puts them onto some pin headers. And you have your two analog inputs, you have your eight digital outputs, you have eight digital inputs, and then you have some various other signals. Now, unlike the Nano, the Sharkbyte Core 1 has a memory chip. So when this device is turned off and turned on again, it remembers the last program that was put onto it. And this makes it very useful for mobile applications, including factory systems, robotics, and home automation. Now, you may also notice that we have an additional DC input source via a 12 volt barrel jack, and this allows us to power this without using a USB connector. Now, the Sharpbyte Core 1 is a real PLC like the other ones, with the exception that it doesn't have relays or opto-isolated inputs. That makes it very useful for digital applications or small projects. But when it comes to controlling big motors or sensors, this is where the micro comes in. Now the Sharp Byte Micro has all its outputs connected to relays and each one of these relays has both a normally closed and a normally open contact. You'll also notice that the Micro has four opto isolated inputs and it also has an e-stop signal. This means that you can connect this to a factory system where you have an emergency stop. So if something goes wrong, you can hit that button and the entire system halts. You'll also notice that we've got two analog inputs and we also have two stepper motor controller ports. This provides a clock and a direction. Like the Sharpbyte Core 1, the Micro has a DC power input port, so you can use a standard 12 volt wall warts. It also has a USB connection and a reset switch. One of the main advantages of this board over the others is that it has 
all of its inputs and outputs connected to screw terminals, which makes it putting into a new system rather easy. And then we come to the very last product of this range, the Sharpbyte PLC1. Now this is a significantly upgraded version of the Micro, having eight relay outputs, eight opto-isolated inputs, four analog inputs, as well as two stepper motor outputs and the other various power signals. Unlike the Micro, the Sharpbyte 1 also has an onboard buzzer for making sounds, which could be useful in certain situations. Now, all of these products, as you'll notice, are built using through-hole technology, and there's a very specific reason for this. A modern PLC, if you open it up, is made of surface mount components, sometimes BGAs, MFL packages, and that makes them virtually impossible to repair. However, the entire Sharpbyte range of products is built using through-hole technology, which makes them incredibly easy to repair. And you'll also notice that every single integrated circuit on these boards is socketed, including the opto isolators, the USB bridge chip, and the main chip that is the PLC itself. And each and every one of these parts is available as spare parts. So even though you may spend some money on getting the bigger one, if something does break, you don't have to worry. You can easily repair it and just ask for some new chips and they'll give you a price for those chips. So now that we've looked at all the Sharp Bike products, let's take a look at their prices. Now the first thing we'll state is that because each one of these is built using through-hole technology, they are available in two forms, pre-made and kit form. So the kit forms are cheaper than the pre-made and it can help to save you a bit of money as well as provide you with a project to do. So let's start by taking a look at the lowest price product, the Sharpbyte PLC Nano. Now this kit is available in two forms, like all the others, pre-made and kit form. If you purchase it pre-made, it is $29.99 and if you buy it kit form, it's $14.99. The Sharpbyte Core 1 ranges from $19.99 in kit form and $39.99 in pre-made form. The Sharpbyte Micro ranges from $59.99 to $79.99, being in kit form and in pre-made form. And finally, we have the Sharpbyte 1, which is available for $99.99 in kit form and $119.99 in pre-made form. Now, all of the products in this range are coded using the L2 software, which is used to create ladder logic programs. It can automatically scan for connected devices and a one-click run compiles, downloads and runs the ladder logic program. It has a very simple GUI interface and provides all the needed parts to produce the majority of functional programs. It is entirely free with no licensing, no registration, which allows teachers, students and companies to design PLCs. And it also comes with a wide range of example designs and example projects. Another major advantage of the L2 software is that it's a click and play system. So instead of requiring to do any kind of programming, you simply click the tiles you want, you drop them where you want, and you can connect them with wires. So now that we've looked at the hardware and the software side of the Sharpbyte range of products, let's take a look and see what the advantages they have over your typical PLC. Now, the first one we've covered is the cost. These are already significantly cheaper than your standard PLCs available from distributors, as well as the software being free and having no restrictions. But another major advantage to all of this is their connectivity. As you see, they are all based on the MPC2221A USB UART driver, and that means that all Windows machines from 7 to 10 will recognize these devices automatically and install the drivers for you. This means you haven't got to worry about dedicated programmers or any kind of network configuration to get these things working. And because the L2 software has low operating system requirements, these can be run on the majority of student laptops, if not all of them, so long as they run Windows. So to summarize, the Sharpbyte range of PLCs are cheap, low profile, easy to repair, easy to connect to, and easy to use. They can be used in a wide range of different applications and projects, including home automation, Industry 4.0, robotics, standard controllers, and even some basic coding. So that's all we have time for today in this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time.